So I just want to say that all the students and your assignments are really great. Um, I mean, you, you're doing things really well, and the recordings are great. Also, you're a Laura. I mean, you even you sent me the questions, but what you sent me in was very, very good. Um, it well, looks like you got everything. I, 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 should, I shouldn't have posted it. If I had not, if I had just saved it, I could have gone back. But I had already tried those suggestions that you had made, and, and it didn't work. It didn't work. So no. maybe maybe we'll try after the lesson. You'll stay on. We'll okay. see if we can get that glitch. Um, but, okay. but what you did send in was very good, and also you maybe all the okay. recording. So great job with that. Um, okay. Let's begin. Okay. So today there are a couple of things that we are going to do. Um, so we are continuing with um, kind of introductions, introducing ourselves. Wait, I did not share my sound of my computer. One minute. Okay, so um, for the people that are, there are people that watch this lesson recorded, so I'll just kind of begin by saying what the structure of the sentence of this lesson will look like. We'll begin by going kind of um, very basic Hebrew introductions. We'll see a short video about people introducing themselves in Hebrew. We'll continue with uh, this very cool kind of um, uh, text written by a Hasidic rabbi that has a uh, really cool use of pronouns in Hebrew. So we'll see that, how he uses that. Uh, after that, we'll hear a cute con this conversation between two celebrities and kind of see what we can get from that. It will be more of a listening activity to test our listening skills. And I think that is all. So the first thing that I want to go over um, so I need to share it with the rest of the group. I shared it with now with Laura and Mindy, the personal word list. The idea of this word list, there is a word list on Schoology, as you probably saw it's the first activity. Um, what is important for me, I mean, I got, I think Laura, you asked me, you told me, wait, there are many words that are not on the word list. So we do try to use the word list that we posted as much as possible, but there will be new words that um, you will need to learn and look up in Molfix. And right. those new words, uh, we want you to add to your own personal word list. So if you want, you can add it onto the word list, print the word list that you have on Schoology and add it on there. Uh, another option is to add it on this. So this is Laura's word list. I'll use yours as an example. You have two options. You can either print it um, and then just in, in handwriting write everything in. Um, another option is to to type here the word list and then I'll also be able to see in the computer wh what the words you're writing, putting in. But it really is up to you. I, I don't. I mean, at a certain point, I kind of will ask you to use new words that you learned. I highly recommend using word lists. It's it's very helpful for learning the language. So whenever you hear something new, use that. Even in this lesson, you can have it like open on your computer and just add words that you know. You know, you're you're waiting at the grocery store. Kind of log into that and see if there if you can go over those words. So any way you want, you can either print it or or have it on uh, online. Yeah, Laura. Sure. Did you say that there's, is there a list of words on Schoology somewhere? Yes, yes, there is. Oh, as I, I said, so I'll show you where that is. It is the first, in each unit, these are, you can now see kind of the behind the, sc the screens. Yeah. These are the next units, but this is the unit that you have on the introductions. So this oh. one, the unit's vocabulary word list. This is the first. Oh. So. And by the way, oh, this is also relevant for you and for everybody at home, there were people that wanted to print it. So yeah. um, you can either do okay. some, in my computer, control P doesn't work. Some, some computers it did work, but another option is to go, go into here, link to the word list, and to print it from here. That's okay. another option. Uh, just. I did. I, I just didn't. I wasn't calling it that, so that's, that's good. I have that. Thank great. you. Okay, great. So yeah, this is the other word list. Uh, yeah. Great. So that was that. Next thing I want us to go over. Now, as I said, I w I'll, every couple of, uh, of lessons, I will try to show you um, lessons, that, videos with what I call authentic Hebrew. What we're going to see now is different ways to say hello in Hebrew, different ways people say hello. Um, it will be, I don't expect you to understand 100% of the video. I don't even, I, I expect you to understand a word here and there. Um, so I'll stop and kind of explain it throughout the video. But the idea for me, what the point of this video is, is for you to hear authentic Hebrew and to try to pick up on words. 
I want you to listen and to see if you can recognize even one or two words that they are saying. Um, I'll put you guys on mute just so that if you unmute yourselves the minute you want to speak or just raise your hand. So the idea is, and also people that are listening at home, try to listen to the video, see if you can pick up on a word or two, and then um, we'll stop it. So I'll stop the video to explain different ways to say hello. So what it says here is the detectives. We'll see now how people that, um, that they don't recognize each other, how do they say hello? They're the detectives. They're trying to recognize each other. See if you can pick up on a word. <laughs> These are the ones that they're not synchronized. They, they can't just get it. They, there's no uh, synchronizing between them. <laughs> These are the hypocrites. You'll see that now they're very nice, and at a certain point he'll leave, and suddenly they'll start saying not so nice things. So these are the hypocrites. <laughs> Can you maybe recognize what's this one? It says, so this one is um, Ha'alimim, it says here. Alimim means the violent ones, okay? They're the violent ones. They say hello in a violent way. <laughs> Um, Mindy, can you maybe read what it says here? If we're working on our reading skills already. Hamdavarim. Bashelot. Medabrim Bashelot, yes, great. So Hamidabrim Bashelot, do you know what that means? The words. The something words. That's an adjective, right? Hamidabrim. No, so the, the ones that talk, Hamidabrim is the ones that talk. It comes from like Ledabir. Bashelot, okay. Shelot is a question. So the ones that talk with oh, that, okay. that they talk only with questions, lots and lots of questions. So let's okay. see, this is the last one we'll see. What's with you? What's with you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, so those were that. Did you maybe pick up on a word or two? Were there any words that you recognize? They were talking very fast, so it's okay not to... Maybe I got I got shalot uh, when you when you said it because I remember that from the la one of the lessons. Great, so you got shalot, so you remember that. Great, so shela and what does that mean? Shela. Shela. Shalot. Shalot. Lots of questions. Questions, right? exactly. Questions yeah, in yeah, plural. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah. Mindy, did you maybe get any of the words or even one word? Um. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's there okay. Were, there were lots of them, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's it's a hard level. It's again, the idea is you're not supposed to understand everything, but when you watch, like, try to watch videos in Hebrew. If you watch a TV show, try to recognize a word here and there. Even ani, ata, shalom, very basic things. So, well, I want us to kind of go over just very a very basic way to say hello. What we saw is that they showed kind of like street Hebrew. How do you say hello in Hebrew? So I want us to kind of see a couple of words that um, help us to say hello. Um, shalom is actually, usually it's a bit more formal, the word shalom. It is shalom means hello, but it's a bit of more of a formal way to say hello. Many times people will say hi. So um, there's no um, vowels here, but does anybody maybe want to try to read it? Um, Laura, do you want to maybe read what it says here? Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I, I recognize hi. Great. Hi, hi, ma. Shalom. Sh wait, shalom. Yeah, shlomech. What you said now is in female. 
Great. So, hi, what did I say? You said, <laughs> hi, mashlomech, means, uh, hi, how are you doing? When you come if you're to a female. So, hi, mashlomech. Now, there are many ways, think, ways to add it, to answer, how are you doing? Um, so, one way is mitsuyan, which means great. Another way is sababa. Sababa is slang. Did you ever hear that word? Sababa is like, is like it's cool. We're doing good. Um, it's Hebrew. This is slang. This isn't slang, Mitsuyan. It's like, I'm doing great. Sababa is slang. Tsa is also slang. It literally means bomb. So tsa, like I'm doing really, really great. Okay, that's what it mean, literally means. And then like in English, you say, hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? So my tcha is, and what about you? How are you doing? So again, I'll read it. Hi, mashlomech. Sababa, my tach or my tcha. So let's try, let's try to do that. Okay. Um, yes, Laura. Can we, I, I would just like to have a trans, can we get a translation of these so I can practice them? Yeah, sure. Do you want me to now to, to write the translation or to tell it to you? That would, that would be great. Either way. Right. So I'll, I'll say it now and later I'll add also, I'll send okay. you guys the words okay. maybe with a translation. Okay. So hi, okay. mashlumcha means hi, how are you doing? Mitsuyan is great. Sababa is also a different way of saying great. Tsatsa is, is like great. It's like the bomb, great, like really great. Maitcha is, and how are you? So this is, hi, uh, how are you doing? This is the answer, great. And what about you? How are you doing? Maitcha. Okay, so let's, let's try it like this. So I'll ask you a question, and then you need to answer and ask, how are you? Maitcha. So um, Mindy. Hi, Mashlomech. You can answer with each one of these. So, Baba. So, Baba. Yeah, and then ask me, how am I doing? My talk. Yes, my talk. Mitsuyan. And uh, Laura. Hi, Mashlomech. Uh, Fetza. Fetza. Great. Fetza. Fetza. Great. That's like really good. Okay. And then ask me, how am I doing? Which is the last one. Ah, okay, so ma itach. Eh, sababa. Is it, is it, is it itach? Itach, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Itach. Itach? Yes, ma itach. Great. So, <laughs> sababa. Sababa. Um, so now you ask this, Laura. Ask uh, Mindy. Hi, ma shlomech. Mm-hmm. Mindy. Matson. Mitsuya. Great, great. Mitsuya, Maitak. What was Mitsuyan? Mitsuyan is great. Really great. How do you say it again? Mitsuyan. Mitsuyan. Mm-hmm. Mitsuyan. Mitsuyan. Okay. Yes, great. Now, Mindy, you can ask me or Laura. Hey, hi. Ma Shalomka? No, it's, it's not Shalomka, is it? Shlomek. It's Shlomek. Mm-hmm. Ma Shlomek. Laura? Uh, Sabah. Sababah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Ma, ma Itach? Great. And then Mindy, how are you? Mindy? Uh, <laughs> Sababah. Great, sababa. So everyone's sababa. So those are the words. Great. So I'll send you, um, as you asked, Laura, I'll send translations of these words. It's okay. The, I can go. I can go over the hearing it again. The it's okay. okay. You don't need to. Great. So if you do want that, let, let me know. So what we're going to read now is um, it's from who wrote it? Is in Hebrew it's Menachem Mendel Mikotsk. Um, he was a Hasidic rabbi, but what we're going to read now is not even a religious text. It's, it talks more about um, the way that we perceive ourselves, and it uses a lot of the pronouns that we learned. So, um, does anybody, you don't have to read this. If you want, I can read it once, and then maybe somebody else can read it again. Does anybody want to try to read it, or should I read it? I will try. Okay, great. I will try. M ani, ani ki, ani ani, om. Ata ata ki ata ata az ani ani ota ata abel abel aval 
אבל אם אני אני כי אתה אתה או אם אתה אתה כי אני אני אז אני לא אני אותה לא אותה. אוקיי, yes. So, a lot of pronouns. You read it really great. You read it correctly. So I'll read it again and let's see if, see if we can try to understand it sentence by sentence. So I added translations of words that we don't, we didn't learn. So אם, if, אני אני, what does that mean, אני אני, אם אני אני, if אני אני? If I, if me, me? Yes, if I okay. am myself, pretty is, much. Is אני, is אני me or I? Because those are two different... Uh, right, right. Um... I keep getting confused with that. So we'll learn, I think maybe, I think that's the next unit. Um, I think it's more I. I need to, I, let me I. think about that, but ani, ochel, I, like, yeah, so it's more I, like, uh, okay. but, but again, in Hebrew, there's no am, so it's just an, like, ani, um, I am, Laura, okay. ani, Loa. Right, so, would be I, okay. Yes. But it, so here, if I am myself, if I am I, כי, because I am I, נכון, אני אני. So if I am myself because I am myself, ואם, and if, אתה, אתה, כי אתה, אתה. What does that mean, אתה, אתה, כי אתה, אתה? You are you because you are you. Yes. So and you, and you are you because you are you. אז, what does אז mean? Did I write that? That or then, it. Then, I forgot yeah. to write the translation. אז means then. So if I am okay. I because I am I and you are you because you are you, then, as is then, I, אני אני ואתה אתה. What does that mean? אני אני ואתה אתה. I am I and you are you. Yes, I am I and you are you. Okay? אבל, but, אם אני אני כי אתה אתה, what's the difference between here? Here it was אני אני כי אני אני. But here it's but, a different situation. So how would you translate this sentence? So but if I am I, because you are you. Mm -hmm. How do you, would you translate this? And if you are mm -hmm. you, because I am I. Mm -hmm. As ani lo ani, veata lo ata. What is lo? No. Not. Not, no. exactly. So, as ani lo ani ve'ata lo ata. So, what does that mean? As then, then I, yes, Mindy? Then I am not I and you are, you are not you. Exactly. So, let's so, try. Yes, Laura? What, what was and and... Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know the conjunctions. I don't so, know. So, we'll get to that at a later point, but I'll, I will go okay. over it now. Okay. Okay. Ve... And in Hebrew is, is this, just this letter, Vav. If you add Vav to, it needs to be um, um, part of the letter. So Im, only this, these two words, Aleph Mem, means if. But this, the Vav, turns it to uh, and if. This is and. And if. Uh, mm -hmm. What is and? Oh, the Vav is and? Vav is and, exactly. That's, oh. the, that's the way you say and in Hebrew. Oh. So, Laura V Mindy is Laura and Mindy. V. You just say V. Oh, Laura. okay. Or Shir V Laura. So, oh, Shir okay. and Laura. Yeah. Okay, so let's try going over. So, do you have any more questions before we try to understand what this sentence means? I'm sure I will, but go ahead. <laughs> Continue. That's what I'm here for. This is okay. exactly the time. So, okay. fire with the questions. So again, what is, so I think there's, he, there is a meaning. It's, it's, this is a very famous quote of his. So let's kind of try to go over it again. If, um, if I am I, because I, אם אני אני כי אני אני, ואם אתה אתה כי אתה אתה, אז אני אני ואתה אתה. Okay, that's the first sentence. But then there's a different situation. So do you, maybe, do you understand kind of, it, it takes a while, I think, to understand what he's trying to say, but do you understand maybe what he's trying to say, but these two sentences? In the first sentence, what turns me into, what, when am I myself? When can I be myself by the first sentence? Ani, ani, when am I, um, because when? Thank you. When am I myself? When can I be myself? When I am myself. Exactly. When, am I, when I am myself because I am myself, then that is me. I am myself when I am myself. And you are yourself when, he... When you are yourself. Exactly, when you are yourself. So when I am myself and you are myself, 
then I am myself as then I am myself and then you are yourself. That's the first sentence. If you are you because you are you and I am I because that is I and then I am I, then you are you and I am I. That is when our, our identity is clear. But then there's a different situation. Imani ani ki atata. Aval, this is a different situation. I myself, by this situation, when am I myself? Ki? When you are you. Yes, I myself because you are yourself. Because of who are you? That is when I am myself. Ve im atata ki ani ani. And you are yourself, why? why? Why do you have your identity? Because I am myself. Because I am myself, exactly. You are yourself. The first situation is I myself because I am myself. I chose to be who I am. And you are yourself because you are yourself. You chose who to be who I am. And then I am me and you are you. We have our identities. But the second situation is a different one. I am myself because you of you, because of you. And you are you because of me, because of, the, of my situation. Then as ani lo ani, then what am I not? Ani, which is me. me. Then I, I am not, not me. myself. Yes. And you are not yourself. Ve'ata lo ata. Um, so how do you understand it? Which, I mean, I understood which one. I mean, I think that one sentence is good and one sentence isn't, right? I mean, he has aval. So there's one situation that he thinks is better and one is, is worse. Right? The first situation is I am myself because of I, because I am myself and you are yourself because you are yourself and we have our separate identities. And the, the next situation is but uh, but there's a different situation because but I am where I am myself because of you because you chose my identity because of, of who are you so which situation is the is the positive one according to this the first one the first one yeah right why because we're not dependent on others yes exactly great um, that's how I understood it also um, that's the, I chose this quote like kind of staying true to yourself the first one is ani ani you are yourself. As This is just all the pronouns that we learned in, in this one quote. Um, yeah, um, a pronoun uh, quote. So it's, and it's great. But the second one is a different one. I'm, I myself because of who are you, because of, of your identity. So, so yeah, the way that I understand it is the first one is the one that he says that is better. And um, here you can see this, uh, this sentence, I'm sure that if you would have sat a couple of minutes of it on your own, you would have understood it also. It's, it's words that most of them you can understand. So yes, sure. that last, in that last little phrase there on the bottom mm -hmm. where it says va'ata, mm -hmm. so is that and you? So yes. is that saying I and you are not you? Exactly, as oh, okay. then, Ani lo ani, as then I am not myself. Ani lo ani, I am not me. Oh, okay. Then and you, okay, okay. Exactly. I'm so, I'm so not used to seeing the conjunction as a part of the word. Yeah, it's one of the most confusing things, but <laughs> okay, it's I got it. a good trick to way to use it. There are very few words in Hebrew where vav is the first letter of the word. We'll learn that when we learn this conjunction, oh. but it's very rare. I mean... Okay. Vered, the word for rose is, a, is always when there's the game, right, where you need to, to think up words of, in a certain letter, right? That's, I forgot what the name of the game is. And if you get vav, it's always the hardest because it's very hard to find a word that begins in that letter. So almost always, remember, if you see vav at the beginning of a sentence, you always, always need to say, wait, is that a conjunction? Is that and? It usually will be. There are some words where, where that begin with vav, but it's rare. So, okay. so this is the quote. This is, um, well, maybe I'll send it to you. So this is from Menachem Mendel Mikotsk. And here you can see that you can already read a sentence in Hebrew and understand the philosophical meaning behind it. So, so that was that. Um, great. So what I want us to do now, this is actually um, kind of uh, to getting started on your homework also. This is the, what we're going to be hearing this week. Um, another kind of listening activity, but here it is one that is supposed to be more a bit, a bit easier than the one that we heard in the beginning of the lesson. What I want us to do is to listen to this activity. You'll see you kind of have Hebrew subtitles. It's all the how we, what we learned up till now, but how to introduce ourselves. Um, and I have three questions that I want us to think of while we hear this. It's going to be a conversation between two famous people, two celebrities. First question I want you to think of is, 
This one. Mi hadmuyot. Do you know what that means? What is mi? Do you remember that word? Mi means um, who. How? Who. who. So, who? yes. So who are the people in the, in the, in the video that we're going to hear? That's the first thing I want you to think about. What are their names of the two people? Yes. So that says who are the people? Yes. Dmuyot is um, figures or the people. Yes. So mi yeah, hadmuyot. Sorry. Mm -hmm. and, and the hey, that's the. Yes. Oh, okay. The, exactly. Okay. Hey is the. So who are the um, people? Hey, actually, there are words that begin in, uh, in hey. So here it's a bit, yeah. you, you need to know the word. Yeah. Um, okay. But yes, who are the people? Great. Um, Laura, do you want to read this maybe? The second one? Okay. Ma afe im. Me Me Him. It's a him. Yes. Oh, Great. Did I say it right? Now you said it right. Me afe him. Me afe him. Great. Great. You said it right. Okay. So, me him. Do you know what that means? That question. Uh, where are you? Where are you from? Where are, so him is they. Where are they from? Oh, yeah. where are they from? Right, exactly. right, right. So okay. who are the people in the video? Where are they from? And this, Laura, you, you learned this word now the, in, the, in the last uh, exercise. Uh -huh. Yes, Buma, great. So maybe you can read it. This one, the third one, Laura. Me? Vama hem yovedadim. Ovedim. Ovedim. Yes. Ovedim. Yes. Oh, great. Bimahem uvdim. Great. Do you know what that means? Bimahem uvdim, that sentence? They, bima, uh, I should, because I recognize the words. <laughs> it's, it's very similar. It's a bit of a different structure oh, here. It's in yeah, plural. Yeah. yeah. Is it like, where do they work? Yes. Great, great. What did, where do they work? What, what are their jobs? What do great. they do? Great. Yeah. What do they do? Okay. Great. Okay. So... Mihadmuyot, who are they? Meefo, where are they from? Bemai Muvdim, where do they work? What is their job? Um, so that is what I want you to, to listen to in this video. Try to see if you can recognize it. Shalom, at Gal Gadot. Ken, Miata. Ani Brad Pitt. Naim Lakir. Naim Maod. Meefo Ata. Ani Miat Sota Brit. מאיפה את? אני מישראל. במה את עובדת? אני שחקנית. במה אתה עובד? גם אני שחקן. יפה מאוד. להתראות. ביי. אוקיי, אז אתם יכולים להגיד שאתם כבר יודעים את האנשים האלה. אז, מי הדמויות? תשאלו בהיברו, כמובן. אז תשאלו אם אתם לא רוצים להגיד את זה. מי הדמויות? מאיפה הם? Um, so, who thinks that um, she can say that in Hebrew? If you want, you can even take a oh. minute to... <clears throat> what, you want us to answer those questions in Hebrew? Yes, yes, in Hebrew. The, oh. the two. Do you, want to, do you want to listen again to see where they are from? That was super, super fast, sure. It was. Like, I was trying was. to read it. Great. And so, it so was no problem. Super fast. So, let's, so let's try okay. to listen to it again. At home, you'll be able to pause it. Um, yeah. Here, I, want, oh, okay. I do want you to sometimes, it is important to hear, you know, when people speak, they speak, they speak fast. So it is important to hear sometimes when you can pause it, but I want you to hear it here. So we'll hear it another time. Maybe we'll even hear it a third time. So again, who are they? Where are they from? And Bimai Mufdi, where do they work? So let's listen to it again. Hello, at Gal Gadot. Ken, Miata. Ani Brad Pitt. Naim Lakir. Naim Maod. Me Efo Ata. Ani Mi Artsot Habrit. Me Efo At. Ani Mi Israel. Bema At Ovedet. Ani Sachkanit. Bema Ata Oved. גם אני שחקן. יפה מאוד. להתראות. ביי. Do you... wait, sorry. So, do you want us to listen to that again and, and to pause it now each time? That'd be great. Great, so let's do it that way. Last time. 
pause. Even if you think that you know where, where one of the answers to one of the questions, then tell me pause and uh, we'll stop it at that point. Shalom, at Gal Gadot. Ken, Miata. Ani Brad Pitt. Naim Lakir. Naim Maod. So, okay, so we have here two figures already. What are their names? Brad Pitt and Gal Gadot. You fit. Great. How would you use that with pronouns? Uh, which pronoun would you use? For what? For him and her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or she and he, you mean? Yeah, exactly. He and who? Is that yeah. what you mean? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So he. Oh, he. Oh, he Gal Gadot. Great. He Gal Gadot. Oh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Great. He Gal Gadot. And how do you say and in Hebrew? Oh, va. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, he Gal Gadot va. Who? Va who? Mm -hmm. Va who? Brad Pitt. Great. So he Gal Gadot ve who Brad Pitt. I think we lost Mindy, but. I'm sure that we'll get back to her soon. So, okay, he Gal Gadot, Vehu Brad Pitt. Fantastic. Let's continue here. Me'efoata. Ani me'artzot habrit. So, me'efohu. Where, me'efohu, what does that mean? Oh, oh, where are they from? Yes. So, where is he from? Me'efohu. Me'efo Brad Pitt. Ani ma... Mm -hmm. What is that? Habrit. So where is that? Do you know what Arzot Habrit is? Where is he from? Uh-uh. So Habrit is um, in Hebrew, it's the United States. Oh. Yes. Okay. Arzot <laughs> Brit is, is like that's like countries, states, and Brit oh. is like a united. Oh, okay. So he is from uh, from the United States. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, so how would you so, say that? Oh, I would say, uh, I would say, who me efa, right? Me so, I'm sorry. So, so me efo is the question word. You don't need me efo. You only need the pronoun. Oh, who? Uh, who, oh, I don't know if I can say that. Okay. Me arzot. Me arzot. Me arzot. Uh, the little thing is, okay. Chava arzot. Chava arzot. Chava arzot. Chava arzot. Yes. Chava arzot. Great. Who arzot a brit? Exactly. Who arzot a brit? Great. Um, so that is him. Who else is the Brit? Me Eforat. Ani mi Israel. So where is she from? Uh, she is from Israel. Great. And how do you say it in oh, Hebrew? Okay. Uh, he, he, he me is Israel. He me Israel. Great, great. So did I say it right? You said it great. Yes, me okay. Israel. You said it great. Me Israel. Okay. Okay. So this is her profession. Um, sachkanit. 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 Yes, sachkanit. Do you, do you know what that means? Maybe. Do you know what? Actress. Great. Yeah. Just from the. Sachkanit. Great. Yeah. So he's sachkanit. Atauve. Gam ani sachkan. Yefemod. Okay. So he said gam is means also. So, gam ani sachkan. What is sachkan? Gam means also. Yes. Um, he says, I'm also an actor. Great. Exactly. Gam ani sachkan. I'm also an actor. <laughs> okay. So, all gim is also. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Great. Wait a minute. Let me just refresh this. Okay, um, great. So when you listen to this at home, and again, as to whoever is here, whoever's hearing this is the recording, then what I recommend is to, um, you know, to watch it once, see what you can understand, just like we did here. It is harder. Try to watch it once without pausing it. 
see if you can kind of understand the general gist, which questions do you, under, do you understand, which words do you hear, um, which words do you recognize, and then after you heard it once, the entire thing, then you can play with it. You can pause it, you can see what you understand, you can, there always will be subtitles, um, but, but at the first time, try to hear it once, just like we did it now, even once, twice, to see what you can understand, to get your mind used to that kind of thinking, and then, again, when you hear it again, you can pause it. So, yes. So did we get a word list for this lesson? So ev everything is in that first one that we did. Those are the words that, that in general, yes, oh, everything okay, is there. Okay, okay, okay. So um, I don't, I wanted, that's, this is the one, this is in the written conversation, but we don't need that for now. Um, we are really in the last five minutes of the lesson. So do you have any questions before I introduce the homework and the assignments? Um, I would love for you, if you didn't, if you don't mind, because in case I got them wrong, all those conjunctions and the, I'm not sure if I got them all. I, I don't, I would love if you could tell me what they all were again. <laughs> you don't have to so, do it now. But. So I'll tell you what, I mean, I think that we, we are supposed to get to that at a later point, but I okay. can also add, okay. but maybe I'll add also the conjunctions that we, I see that we talked about here to the word list. That'd okay, so I'll add those to the word list, um, just okay. so that you can have them That'd just in great. case. Yeah. And then uh, you, you'll have those there. Let me, I'll even write that down for myself. Okay, great. So, so I'll do that, definitely. Um, okay, great. So the homework for this week, um, these are the assignments. It might look like a bit more than usual, but a lot of them, this one is feedback. So that's just, you know, like what we did up till now. Yeah. This is the, is the matching games. Um, and this is only the video, so it's really just like one or two activities. It's, it's not that much more. So activities five through nine in the same unit, we did one is the word list, two, three, and four we did. So now we did need to do five until nine. And again, you know, let me know if you have any questions or, um, okay. or if there's anything you can get. Um, we have kind of like a last couple of minutes Mindy left, but already if you have um, any feedback or anything that you want to ask, or if you want us to even um, go into the wiser to see what the problem is on there. Uh, if you want to, yeah, that, if, that this lesson was great for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what, what was good? What do you want us to continue uh, doing? Well, because the dialogue is pretty simple and it was like going over things that like all those pronouns we had already learned. So it was more like application of what I've already learned. If I'm learning it new for the first time here, it's a little more difficult for me, but it was good reinforce. I felt like, oh, okay, I know those pronouns because I had practiced them all week and then I saw them and heard mm -hmm. them. So that was good. So you like that, the fact that there was application? I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like more applicate. Well, for me, as the learn as a learner, I, it works better for me when I can practice what I've already been learning with you. Um, but, but it, it was all it was just all good. <laughs> okay, great. So no, I mean, th that that could be that is good. I mean, many times the application is homework, but you prefer as a learner for the lesson to actually be the application. Yeah, because when I'm on my own, you know, I have I'm like, what is that? I didn't, I've never seen that like the, what was it? Mafe, uh, I think it was Mafe, or no. There, whatever one that I sent to you and asked you, I hadn't seen that anywhere. I looked it up. I couldn't find it on any of my little translator things. And so it was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, great. So, so great. So then I'll remember that. I mean, and even if we, we, First of all, you can always ask, I mean, the, the lesson is also time to ask questions. So if ever, anything comes up also, and then I'll try to also remember to, even if not the entire lesson is application, to do a little bit of application from last time. That was um, so great. Great, great. So thank you, Laura. And thank you, Cher. So let's stop the recording for everyone. And um, do you want us to, to go over that, see what the well, problem is? I I've already sent, uh, posted it, so it wouldn't let me go back and try and it fix again. It. But when I put my, when I, I, when I first tried it, I on the first line.